Hey guys, welcome to Blonity. First model disclaimer, this is not financial advice, my own opinion and estimates. My estimates could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers, be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Please be aware that I'm invested in Riot, Mara, Hive, Argo, Bitfarm, Sat 8 k one DMG, Digihoist, Coin, Lux and DeFi. Okay, let's jump right into it. So first of all, um, yeah, Happy New Year 2022. It did not start as we all were hoping for or wish, wishing for. Um, Bitcoin is not at 100 or 200,000. It is at 43,000 right now. Critical levels here um, at the moment. Um, yeah, so all the models I'm following, they failed um, for December 2021. So the question is, um, is it just delayed or is it uh, completely wrong? Yeah, no one knows for sure, but um, obviously, um, yeah, we have to be patient again. Yes, I mean, uh, in summer we had this Wyckoff accumulation pattern here uh, from May to July. And yeah, it, the structure right now seems a little bit similar. Also the, the dip sonar here uh, developed by Nikos here um, from this uh, July correction here. We are very similar right now to the July correction. So yeah maybe this is an indicator that we will face here another bike of accumulation so maybe it's not over um, we will go a little bit more sideways who knows um yeah but let's focus on the data i mean the stocks are down like crazy i'm still hodling all of them but again i told you in the next leg up i will sell a part uh, with a new strategy with these sonars i will talk about later um, i think that is it's it's promising because holding uh, with like always 50, 60 percent drops, um, it's it's hard. So it makes sense to sell a little bit um, in, into strength. Okay, um, we have some operational updates from from the miners like Riot Blockchain for December. They mined 425 Bitcoin, 3,800 in 2021. Their targeted hash rate for 2022 is 12.8 exa hash, so they increased. Um, that's nice. They bought more miners, and yeah, we will talk about this now. What's also important, they're hodling right now close to 4,900 BTC, or that was the end of December, so we are maybe now close to 5,000 Bitcoin. They already have like close to 30,000 miners deployed with a hash rate of 3.1 exa hash. Um, so that's very high. Um, not not the 4.3 exa hash they said we will have at the end of the year, but we all know that uh, these miners have delays, and not only the miners, the whole industry, or all industries in the world have big delays with the supply chain issues and so on. So yes, they bought the S19 XP. We we heard from Mara. Um, they increased like from 13 to 23 exa hash. And yeah, also Riot is now increasing. At the end of this year, they want to have 120,000 end miners with 370 megawatts of energy. So, so that's a lot. Um, what's also interesting that the immersion benefits are not included here in these 12.8 12 exa hash. So yeah, we can maybe expect something like 13, 14, 15 exa hash with the 200 megawatt immersion cooled infrastructure um, it, at the Windstone facility. <coughs> yeah, so Riot expects its hash rate to be approximately 4.1 exa hash when the 8,136 miners received in December and the 2,700 miners anticipated for delivery in January are installed at the Winston facility. So we know that um, yeah, over Christmas and New Year, um, people are on holiday and so on. So yeah, let's expect some big increase here in hash rate in January. Um, let's hope for this. Also on the infrastructure side, um, Riot acquired ESS Matron to be very, very um, vertical integrated. Um, yeah, it's, it's a different strategy that Mara is using. They, they just buy miners and host the miners somewhere. Riot is, is focusing on vertical integration. So that's a very important player when it comes to these um, power distribution equipment. Um, 
So that will help to, to build the facility faster and on time. The 2022 estimated hash rate, um, yeah, we've talked about this 12.8 exa hash without the immersion gains. Um, let's move to Mara, uh, a very good um, update from Mara. They, they produced 484 BTC and they increased their holdings to 8,133. So after a very bad November, a very good December, I think they will have some maintenance again uh, early this year on, on, the, on the power plant. But um, yeah, December was very good. Um, also what I like here is the chart. So they say Mara's percent of global hash rate, it, it was in December at 2.1% here. Because yeah, the global hash rate is somewhere 160 extra hash or so. And they have above three exa hash, so that's more than two percent. Um, yeah, and they have big goals. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think they they will be at thirteen point three in mid twenty twenty two and twenty three exa hash at early twenty twenty three. Like all the other miners, there will be delays and so on, especially with the infrastructure. But um, I mean, when they're they, when they're 10 exa hash and here at 15 exa hash or so, that it's gonna be still the number one. So yeah, um, with when everyone is delayed, um, it doesn't ma matter too much. Um, yeah, what I really like from Mara this month is or December is that they really produced a lot of Bitcoin. So it seems like also the Mara pool did did very well. That's also good for DMG blockchain. We will talk about this later. They of course have a lot of cash, like 270 million and liquidity of, so with the with the Bitcoin holdings, like 644. Um, yeah, what is a little bit crazy uh, is that they have like 72,500 miners they, they received in 2021, um, Bitmain miners. <laughs> so their potential hash rate should be as I understand it, at above seven exa hash, but it is at 3.5 or so. So they have no place to plug it in. Um, they're continuing to install miners at various facilities operated by Compute North at the construction of new mining facilities progresses. So there's really um, uh, a shortage of electrical infrastructure right now for Mara. They, they, they have the miners, but no infrastructure. So yeah. We will see how fast Compute North and other hosting companies build these facilities. But um, yeah, they have the they already have the miners. The fleet right now is thirty two thousand miners with three point five exahash. So Mara is still the number one in terms of installed exahash, which is um, yeah, which is good. But yeah, it seems like they have forty thousand miners waiting to be plugged in, which is which is crazy. Okay, the new goal here. Um, close to 200,000 Bitcoin miners producing 23.3 exa hash early 2023. Yeah, let's see um, whether we can go there or not. Um, yeah, the Bitcoin production December here on this chart looks nice um, compared to November. It also was the highest ever um, for Mara. So also higher than in, in August with a very low hash rate. So, um, yeah, what is also important, upgrades and maintenance to the power generating station in Harlan, Montana, cost Meritans Bitcoin mining operation. So we already know this. Um, yeah, minor installation, hash rate growth, <coughs> nothing new here. Management commentary, 2021 was a transformative year for Marathon as we increased our hash rate, um, yeah, 1,800% and increased our Bitcoin production to 846%. Um, we are starting 2022 with a substantial momentum and a clear path to grow throughout this year and beyond. Yeah, we have a lot of Bitcoin miners and yeah, hopefully we can install them soon. Something like this. Let's move on to Bitfarms. Um, Bitfarms is now at 2.2 exahash. Let's zoom a little bit in. Um, so they increased the their hash rate at by one exa hash approximately in 2021. The Bitcoin production is always great uh, for bit farms in terms of um, produced Bitcoin per installed exa hash. So they increased from November to December to 363 BTC. 
of course they're building a lot of new facilities right now um they have also a lot of contracted power a 210 megawatt facility in argentina the new facility in washington state then we have uh, new facilities in um in quebec and in paraguay a 10 megawatt farm which planned installation of 3000 miners in january so they wanted to have it online in december so it looks now it's um it's gonna be january um yeah so bit farms good numbers here let's move on had eight had eight produced 276 bitcoin um they say we are now at 2.2.0 exa hash i think this includes um the ether mining from the gpus they have installed they right now have more than four five thousand five hundred btc hodl so operation updates for December purchased 2,500 micro bitines from Foundry Digital. So that helps to bring the hash rate up. Install 2,700 more efficient micro BTs in Drumheller. Uh, electrical upgrades. So electrical upgrades are ongoing at the Madison Head site, which are necessary to allow for optimal hash rate efficiency from ongoing delivery of new micro BT miners. The upgrades are on track to contribute an additional four, 450 petahertz in February 2022. So yes, now, now it gets interesting. Uh, development and construction of the company's third mining site in North Bay, Ontario is well advanced. To date, the design of the ventilation system and the custom racking system have been completed while construction of the data center structure is underway. The company expects to have the North Bay site powered up in mid Q1 2022. 22 and fully operational at 35 megawatts by the end of this quarter contributing approximately 850 peta hash of additional hash rate to our operations which is expected to bring our total hash rate across all three sites to 3.35 exa hash by the end of q1 so originally the goal was to have it online at the end of december obviously this did not take place so it's also delayed um, upgrade and development efforts in both Alberta and Ontario were delayed throughout December by supply chain issues and so on. Um, yes, this is nothing new, um, but at least we have an update. Um, also for DMG blockchain, finally, we got some basic information here. So they mined 66 BTC in December, which is good, 2.1 per day. And they are now at 420 peta hash. Uh, when we go to the website we can see the live hash rate here um let's let's yeah it's 401 peta hash right now but yeah dmg is growing their self-mining hash rate and yeah that's that's important when we look at the difficulty from december uh, in december we had one big increase here i think it was 8.8 percent .8 or something like this that's why some miners that the production dropped um Let's compare the miners here, um, the BTC production. So we don't have the, the numbers from Argo, from Hive, Digihost, CleanSpark and Iris Energy. But um, we have some numbers from these five here, Riot. Yeah, a little bit a drop from November to December. Again, the, the hash rate increased, the global hash rate, the difficulty increased, but Riot did not install a lot of new miners, as I'm aware of. But also November was a great month for, for Riot. So maybe also the pool was not that lucky. Who knows? So it fluctuates every month a little bit. Big improvement here for Mara. 484 BTC produced in December. Bit farms also nice increase by 7% here to 363. We don't have the numbers from Argo. Had 8 also 4.2% uh, increase from November to December. And DMG... We don't have an operational update for November, but someone estimated like 36 BTC is mined. So that would be also a nice increase, but the 66 are very good result. So the hash rate growth here from Riot, um, yeah, th from 3 to 3.1, Mara to 3.5 here, Bitfarms to 2.2, HUD to 2 exa hash, and DMG to 0.42 exa hash. The productivity, so Bitcoin mine per installed exahash in December 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, Bitfarms here or no DMG um, has very good results here. Also Bitfarms. So per exa hash, they, they, these both mine the most. And you can also do it um, divided by 31 to have it per day. So DMG might like 5.65 BTC per installed exa hash per day. Bitfarms 5.4, then we have HUD 4.8, we have Mara 4.6 and Riot 4.5 BTC per um, one exa hash installed in December per day. Let's talk about the valuation, uh, the market capitalization and of yesterday was of course low compared to to to, um, to December or or November numbers, but it is what it is. Um, for Riot, 2.5 um, billion US dollars and the Bitcoin mine per 1 billion USD market cap is 170 Bitcoin per 1 billion market cap. You can see for bit for bit farms it's 400 more than 400 and for dmg it's, it's 666 so that's also um yeah and my bmxi also is telling that these small caps are more undervalued but we have seen when we have um, periods of fear and things like this then um yeah it's 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 risk off and the small caps are suffering more than the large caps but to be honest right now all the miners are suffering and yeah, all the tech stocks, to be honest. When we talk about the hodl here, um, we don't have the hodl from DMG so far, but here Mara is number one here with 8,133. Then we have HUD8, 5,518. Riot, close to 5,000 here with 4,889. And Bitfarms, 3,301. Okay, so let's move on. <coughs> the hash rate, um, on the one month chart, it's it's more or less stable here. On the one year, you can see we're still in this uptrend here since the China exodus in summer. The next difficult, the last difficulty adjustment at and Christmas time here was a little bit positive here with 0.3%. Um, yeah, the next one is estimated happening in one day and it's also gonna be like a little bit positive, so very, slow hash rate growth right now but it is growth and that's good yeah so that was the dip sonar here developed by Nikos which was very interesting to compare it with the July correction um, we also have uh, the stock sonar here um, yeah when we, we look to the stocks here for example for hard eight um, it's way below zero on the stock sonar um, yeah, so that indicates that it, it's not so far, um, there's no turnaround so far. Yeah, let's see where this goes. Yeah, also we are developing this uh, this Block Forest website here right now with, with these indicators, with the th sonars and with fundamental data and so on. The goal is really to, to build a platform for investors in crypto stocks with all the data we can get there. We will start late January or early February um with with the first indicators and then we will add a lot of things over the year and we will have a dashboard where you, where you can create your own area with all the kpis because we have seen that um yeah that there's a lack of information of course so very excited to to show you guys everything of this um yeah it's but it's still in progress so far so yeah bitcoin at forty three thousand. um Still very low. Yeah, let's see where this goes today. Okay, guys, so um, I think that's it for today. Um, hopefully we will see some green days um, soon because then it makes a lot more fun to be an investor in these kind of stocks. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.